Now, our next guest has been making us laugh for many, many years. From the Late Show to Catherine Kim, Tony Martin has done it all. Check it. <laughs> Welcome to The Late Show, live around Australia. Well, Mick, I don't know if you know this, but it's actually Padre Pio's day. And it's a pity they couldn't get a picture of the Padre. They've had to use one of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now, you're out of time. Two, three, four. <laughs> Sherry! To Don Bradman, if that's what they do in the cricket. <laughs> Who have you got to play the role of the Don? Carl Stefanovic. Uh, I know you want me. Yeah, I know I want you. I know you want me. Yeah, I know I want you. I know you want me. Oh, those two together. A dynamo. <laughs> sure a dynamic is. duo. Tony joins us now from Melbourne. Big round of applause for Tony, everyone. There he is. Hello. There he is. Me to do any Spice Girl songs. <laughs> do it. Got I'm nothing. Sorry. Sing, 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 ha. That's all I know. It's very good, mate. Very good. Hey, uh, how you been? Good. Good. What, have you heard something? Yeah, I have. <laughs> uh, no, I, heard, I did hear on the grapevine that you were such a hit at the uh, Sydney Comedy Festival. You've been asked to do an encore show. Is that right? Yes, yes, I'm going back. I'm doing a lot of stand-up uh, uh, these days. People ask me, what's it like doing stand-up? And the great thing is, you know, on television, you have to wait till costumes are made and sets are built and funding to come through, whereas on stand-up, you can just think of something stupid and just say it. Uh, it's, it's much like being Eddie Maguire. Oh. <laughs> now, that's unfair. That is unfair. I used to work with Eddie Maguire yeah. back in the late 80s when we did uh, the Degeneration radio show. Oh, he was yeah. actually the sports reporter yeah. on our show, wow. and he was a lovely man. I don't remember him trying to drown anybody. <laughs> so what do you make of the whole thing? Because it's big news in Melbourne. I've no idea it's all related to football, so I, I don't understand what he would say. <laughs> but you got a joke in and that's all that matters. A cheap one. <laughs> a very good one. Tony, you've had such a massive career spanning, I think, seven decades now. Ooh. Yes, um, seven decades. Wow. You, you start on Kath and Kim dating Sharon. What a oh, great yeah. role. Yeah, uh, mm. people will often just yell pash rash yes. at me from a, a passing vehicle. There I am, wearing a fake beard. Uh, and, of course, uh, wow. you know, I was a love rat in the yes. show. I was, uh, you know, I sort of betrayed Sharon yes. in the Broke end. Broke Australia's and, heart, as well as Sharon's. Th that's right. And, of course, uh, Magda was on Current Affair recently, and uh, not trying to be offensive, but she described herself as a, uh, a fat old lesbian. Do you remember that? <laughs> yes. And friends of mine <laughs> love to point out that she did not start identifying as a lesbian until after our affair <laughs> on Kathy Kim. So, Apparently it's all my doing. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, she, Magda actually gave me my start in TV back in, in 1987. I was a writer on The Degeneration. Yeah. And I always remembered the, there was a discussion in the, in the room about how they needed someone who wasn't in the cast to play a nerd. And I always remember Magda just looking over at me. <laughs> and that was it. That was the beginning of my on-screen career. Good taste. Good taste. Mm. Now, I, I, I was concerned recently to hear, Tony, that you were hospitalised by your cat. Do tell. That's true. Uh, it's very sad, but I, I, I got a cat from... There, there's, there, there's the culprit right oh, yeah. there. That's him, officer. Oh, there's my cat uh, <laughs> watching a bird documentary. <laughs> obsessed with bird documentaries. There's, a, there's the calendar shot there. But that is my cat, Shorty, uh, who we got from the, uh, the Lost Dogs Home, which has a cat department. I urge anyone <laughs> looking for a cat to pop down the Lost Dogs Home, despite the name. And uh, he's only got... Uh, you can see there, he's only got half a tail. Luckily, it's the half attached to his body. <laughs> and he actually bit me on the hand, bit me on the hand, and I went. it swelled up. I went to the hospital, and I was in hospital for three nights on oh. a drip. It's actually quite serious to be bitten on the hand by a cat. It happened to Mossy from uh, Cold Chisel. Mm. And I always remember getting home after three days, and he's like, where have you been? <laughs> Where's my food? Because <laughs> there's so many... I don't know if you're across this, but there are so many cat food brands now. Have you noticed that? There's yeah, one now there's called lot. Inspirations. Have you <laughs> seen that? Inspiration. What is it inspiring the cat to do? Sleep for 23 hours a day, as far as I can tell. What about those uh, those ads where they come on and it looks like it looks better than your own lamb roast? Yeah. And you just go, man, that cat's eating good food. <laughs> I often just chuck a bit on a sandwich. Why not? <laughs> it's inspiring. <laughs>
Hey, Tony, it's Richard here, mate. Uh, political campaigns are always rich fodder oh, for yeah. people such as yourself. We've got one here, we've got one in the States. What do you make of all that? Well, Donald Trump's uh, dropping in the in the polls at the moment, and I think it all goes back to the downturn started when he refused to front up to the Iowa butter cow. Were you across <laughs> that? Yeah. It's a cow made of butter, and if politicians don't, you know, sort of genuflect to it, apparently you're finished. So that was his big mistake. Well, speaking of politics, what about back home? I know you've been following this fake tradie story. Great story. What, what do you make of all that? Well, did you see the earlier version? There was an earlier version where he was uh, sitting at a piano with a candelabra drinking a port and talking about <laughs> offshore tax havens. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they actually toned it down for this version. This fancy watch, though. Yeah, it does have a fancy watch. <laughs> Now, people him, are man. saying, you know, oh, he, 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 it's not an actor. And you go, surely no actor is that terrible. So <laughs> I think, seriously. We can't find him, Tony. We've put a call out this morning. He's got to be somebody's brother, son, husband, next door neighbour. probably at work. No one has said that they know him. Mm. Well, the, the suggestion on uh, the internet seems to be that he may have been killed after his uh, gold <laughs> chain got sucked into that bandsaw. <laughs> There's quite a few <laughs> occupational self <laughs> health and safety issues in that band. <laughs> oh, very good. Hey, like is, it, is it true you don't have a mobile phone, Tony? I, I, no, I don't have them. I hate mobile phones. Uh, you know, when you I was at Captain America recently, oh, yeah. and people were sitting in the cinema, and there's like a massive action scene going on, and there was three people in the cinema I spotted just on their iPhone. Yeah. I think they were actually watching a downloaded version of Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> no. They just annoy me. Shopping for cat food, perhaps. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Oh, but right. I am on Twitter, and uh, people always say, "How do you do Twitter when you're, um, you know, you don't have a mobile phone?" But I have. I do it on my computer, which is an old black and white. Amstrad oh, with a floppy wow. disk. It takes a while. To put it. it takes a couple of days for the tweets to appear, <laughs> but it does work. You're going to dial up in That's between. That's right. That just means they're very considered. Tony, it's always great to chat with you. Thanks Thank so you. much for joining us. Cheers. And we'll make sure we put all the details of Tony's upcoming stage show on our website. Very funny, yeah. smart man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.